Hello, my name is Ron St. Dennis, and I'm an application engineer with Acuity Solutions. I wanted to provide a short video that would give an introduction to product and manufacturing information, or PMI as it's known in NX. So what are PMI objects? A PMI object is an associative item uh, uh, of information that can be made available in NX model space uh, that can provide critical manufacturing, structural, and quality uh, data to downstream processes and applications. Typical PMI objects are uh, dimensions, uh, feature symbols, datum feature symbols, uh, targets, datum targets, feature control frames, other symbols, security markings, uh, PMI and projected views, and uh, other uh, drawing notes. Prior to NX11, all PMI objects were created in the model space. You could, however, inherit those uh, PMI objects onto the drawing uh, when you created a drawing and you added a view. In NX11, they've kind of closed the loop here, and uh, now you can, you can convert to drawing dimensions to PMI objects in model space. So here we are in the NX11 part file. There's a, uh, you'll notice on my interface there's a PMI tab here uh, in the ribbon bar. If you're not seeing that and you're licensed for it, if you right click in the gray area, you'll find it under here. So we're going to select the PMI tab. Uh, this is all the functionality involved in PMI. All right, let's start creating some PMI objects. Uh, first of all, we need to be in the right model view. Uh, all, all PMI objects are created in uh, as a child of the uh, model view that they're created in. So we'll make the right view the, the work view. Now we're going to create, uh, we'll create a few uh, reference uh, items. Uh, we'll create a center line on this upper bore. And we'll create a center mark on this hole. And we'll start creating some datum feature symbols. And we'll start placing some dimensions. And uh, just as it is in drafting, you can uh, set up your tolerances here. Change your text placement. Show the trailing zeros. And moving on to the next. And we'll, we'll start, we'll create a few, a couple of uh, feature control frames. First of all, we want this, uh, we want the bottom of this to be flat. And we'll make 
the top. Parallel. Primary datum reference will be A. Place that. And now we'd like a true position call out to the center of this hole. Do that again. Diametral, maximum material condition, primary reference will be A, secondary reference will be B, place that. You can go back to your model view, reset the orientation. Uh, another thing you can do here is you can resize the PMI in the view. So you can uh, get that so it's uh, readable. The other thing you can do here is that you can uh, any one of these PMIs you can you can display it in multiple views or move it to a different view. If you right click on it, hit display. You can pick you can pick the views you want to show it in for more than one. You can right right click on it, hit the display, and you can display it in all views. So you might want to display some of these in a trimetric view. The next thing I'd like to do is create a PMI section view. So we're going to switch to the trimetric view here. And then we're going to go over here to section view. Uh, it's going to give you this <coughs> uh, section plane dialog, which is very common to uh, clipping sections in, uh, in model. And so we're going to uh, rotate this uh, minus 90. That's basically the orientation I want to look for. I'm going to turn this around here, line this up this way, and we'll save this because that's what we're looking for. Next, let's create a, uh, a reference center line here on this cylinder. We'll create the an angular dimension from from this line this line change the text placement and some Now we'll create a cylindrical dimension from this line to this line. Of course, all of these uh, all these preferences could actually be set up in a, in your drafting standard, and they would apply here as well as in drafting. Let's do the same thing here on the bottom.
little layer of hair we'll fix. And the last thing we need is a dimension down to the center of this hole to place the hole. We'll uh, replace these. I'll move these to a different uh, location here in a minute. I'll you know, just get these done. We'll resize the PMI and the view, and we can move these around wherever we'd like them to be. All right, so once you get all your PMI objects created, dimensions created, uh, section views created, uh, it's very easy to inherit these uh, PMI objects into a drawing. So we're going to create a new drawing. And uh, it's the title block. They're going to put us in the view creation wizard. Uh, we just got to inherit PMI right here. We're going to inherit from the model view. Pick an orientation. Pick the uh, the view that we want to uh, put on 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 the paper. And there it is. So you'll notice that uh, it, it comes up as a manual. For some reason, it comes in as a manual boundary. So if you just change this to automatic rectangle it'll uh, it'll size right up the other thing you want to notice that um, this the all of these dimensions all these PMI dimensions are in the view so if you make an automatic rectangular rectangle you when you move them around uh, the boundary will, will change as necessary and so you can move them around over here as well as in the PM on the uh, on, on the modeling side so we'll add one more. Once again, we want to inherit from the model view. You can select the PMI types that you want to inherit here. It defaults to all. And so we'll pick uh, our section view. And we'll, uh, we'll fix the boundary. And we can move this around and move our dimensions around at will here. And I, uh, I'll, I'll do one more. I created. Uh, I created a, uh, uh, I won't turn on orientation because I want to show you. I created a, uh, a projected view as well with PMI in it. So I just, uh, the reason I want to do this is because I want to show you that uh, what even though you're You've uh, created this view without the PMI turned on. If you go to the settings, there's a, under the common, there's a PMI here, and you just say from model view, select OK, and there it is. So that's how easy it is to inherit PMI objects from model space to the drawing. So the last piece that I'd like to talk about here is the uh, converting um, NX uh, drafting entities to uh, PMI objects. Uh, this is functionality that was just added in NX11. And uh, how this works is uh, in, under drafting tools, uh, you have a convert to PMI uh, icon right here. If you select this, 
uh, your settings that you want to turn on preview this will this will tell you uh, what what it knows about um, the the drawing and what it can convert uh, notice here that you can if you drop this down you can convert the whole drawing you can cur um, convert specific sheets specific views or sp specific annotations so if there's something here that doesn't highlight uh, um, you, you'll have to uh, you should cancel here and and uh, see if you can fix it and then uh, uh, and then output it uh, convert them to uh, PMI so uh, if, if you can't get it to convert here then you could always create them uh, on the modeling side so we're gonna we're gonna convert this we'll turn on the preview it looks like everything's gonna convert uh, including the drafting notes that are on the drawing. So when you say okay to that, uh, you'll notice that this is using the master modeling concept, so the so the part is actually um, a child of the assembly. So if, if we make this the displayed part, and uh, we go to the part navigator, uh, we look at the uh, model views, you'll see that there are uh, their children in here. Uh, these are actually uh, created from all the views on the drawing. Here's the section. And here's uh, the sheet one. So these are the drawing notes that were on the drawing. And so there's some center lines, uh, uh, whole center lines here, and, uh, and the like, all these whole center lines were created on, uh, in the trimetric. To summarize a little bit, we talked about uh, creating PMI objects, uh, creating PMI views, um, inheriting uh, PMI objects to uh, a drawing, and converting drawing uh, objects to PMI objects in the, in the model. Uh, once again, this is Ron St. Dennis. Uh, I want to thank you for watching, and thanks for uh, visiting acuityinc.com.